I don't know what what kind of noise doesn't Ozaro kind of make. I mean, they kind of make like weird cat noise sometimes. <laughs> What's up, guys? Hello, and welcome to another figure review. Today, I'm gonna have something a little more different because this is this was one of these buys where I just walked into my local comic book store and I was just like, "What is what? What? What's in here?" I mean, I can tell. There's a giant Ozaru monkey in there, but what, like, what's what's all this? What's all this? I'm kind of intrigued by this box. I'm gonna buy this box and unbox it on the internet and and tell you about it and you know look at the fucking thing and whatnot. I'm not just gonna unbox. I'm gonna review it. I'm gonna go the whole way with this. Uh, but uh, yeah, this is um, an Ozaru by Ban Presto with the tiny logo up here. Uh, it's been a long time since I got something from Ban Presto. Back in the day they used to make, I mean they still make pretty good Dragon Ball figures, but these days it's all like oh, SH figures and stuff. But yeah, I mean, I didn't have a giant monkey and I wanted this giant monkey, so I got the giant monkey, also known as Ozaru. But enough about that, you've seen the box. A couple of interesting things going on here. Looks good, I like the overall design, but that's enough of it. Let's take him out of the box. And there you got your Ozaru, your great ape. There is some assembly required. I mean, this is like a single piece, the head is a single piece, and the tail is a single piece, which I don't really get. I don't really see the point of that. I guess to just kind of make more room, make more space in the packaging. Uh, it's not really bad or anything, except for I kind of don't like the disconnecting parts over there, but it's 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 not too bad. But before we get even into that, I want to have a look at the size of this guy. He stands in about a bit too small. Well, I say too small, I, I don't... I know it was small packaging, so I wasn't really expecting. But whenever I see something like this, it just... It, it always should be big. It always should be big. It's not All right, anyway, but yeah, the, the actual size of this guy... It's about 13 centimeters to the top of his mouth up here, which is a little over 5 inches. And to the top of his arms, like his, which is, which is like 14, if you have the arms, which is like 5.5 inches. So it's around 5 inches, 5.5, five something like that. And I mean, overall, I really like the texturing. Texturing of the fur looks clean, looks nice. Very well done. The face itself is kind of like a little bit more of a cheap plasticky look. A bit of a cheaper figure. Not super cheap, but you know, it's not an SH figure. That's, that's what I'm trying to get at. It's not like those high-end thingies I usually review in here. It's, it's Like I said, it was more like a, this looks cool, I kind of want this. Because I don't have an Ozaru. Call is nice. Teeth are detailed. They're kind of dirty at the top. I don't know if you... Uh, can't really see that on the light. They're kind of red over there. I don't think that's intentional. That's just uh, skin color bleeding through. It might be intentional. I don't know. His teeth just kind of are colored. He has red eyes. There's no shading going on or anything. But he has his fingernails painted. So that's cool. But overall the paint shop, it's, it's alright for the price and for the type of figure it is. Of course there's no articulation as you can tell. But he does come with some accessories, actually, which I find kind of weird. First of all, they have this plasticky wooden thing with the logo on it and the four-star Dragon Ball. I don't know what this logo means. If anybody knows what this logo means, please let me know in the comments. And then we have this backdrop, which is just, uh, it's in the packaging like that. And I guess you just kind of fold it a little bit. And you have backdrop with the moon, so you can play like your favorite Kabuki piece with... The great Osaru walking at the moon. Now he sounds like a wolf. Now, but yeah, I don't know. It's just like it's paper with the moon on it. Uh, okay, sure. Why not? Why not? You have a nice little copyright thing on the butt, not on the feet where you should put it, but nobody can see it. But anyway. Final thoughts, I guess. This is a short one because there's not really much to say about this. And like I said, I bought this today and I was just like, you know what? I'm gonna have a look at it. I'm gonna review it. Why not? Just give the people a look at the Ban Presto Ozaru. Final thoughts? If you don't have an Ozaru and you see this one in your local store or online for like 20 bucks or so, I mean, go for it. This is, this is, this is a fun thing. 
It's a fun little thing. It's not especially amazing. You don't have to have this, absolutely. Although I have seen online some pictures of like the big Ozaru, which is kind of scale with like SH figures, and that one would appeal to me much more because it's just like huge and you can kind of display it with your SH figures. This one is just, I just wanted an Ozaru and I got one and it looks good and it wasn't too expensive. So there you go. Yeah, that's really gonna be it. I don't know. I'm still thinking about stuff to say about this, but there is none. <laughs> so, um, yeah, boys. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to leave a like if you enjoyed this review. And maybe subscribe to the channel so you can stay tuned for more figure reviews, gameplay stuff, and whatever Ozaru wants. <laughs> I still don't know what that noise means. <laughs> Goodbye.